what's up guys this is mark from dsgme and i just want to do a video a quick video because this new guy um joe i think his name is joe yeah it, um he's a dsgme member this this video is more for you dsgme members those of you guys who've been with dsgme for a while um you may not need it those of you guys who just joined it may be helpful so the, the the problem the issue came up because he went over his api calls right so before i even address that i kind of have to address what an api call is so those of you you would have set up your dhne account and if your api status is good you'll see good for a certain amount of days and whatever the name of your ebay account a number of calls a day right so what the api is is basically a gateway a doorway, right? Or some sort of pathway to sell information back and forth to connect your specific eBay account to DS Genie's um, software. So it sends information back and forth. So for example, if DS Genie wants to change your price because the price went up or down, that information is sent through the API and changes that price. That's an API call, right? You have 5,000 API calls a day. Another way that this is used, the API calls, is when you do, uh, when you do research, when you do a, a get seller items, or when you do a get seller from title, right? Those use up a decent amount of API calls. But you have 5,000 API calls a day. The only reason I could imagine that you would go over your API calls is if you're running a ton of sellers and generating a lot of research. Those of you guys who are not in DSGNE, when I say generating a lot of research, where is it? Let me find it myself, my research. So what the research is, is when you run a seller and you pull his top selling items. So in, in these three sellers here, that's research, right? I have, what is this? 29, 28 um, items here that I could possibly sell because they're top selling items. The reason why you should never go over that is because the older research gets, the less valuable it is. So you should be running one, two, three sellers, then trying to get your items you want to sell, trying to list your five for the day. I usually recommend listing five a day. Some of the guys like Oliver and some of the other guys, they murder it and list 10 to 20 a day, which is great, right? You have experience, you're making that bank. But those of you guys, whatever you want to list, you should never have to go over those API calls. So my suggestion to you guys would be run one seller, run two sellers, run five sellers. Go through them one by one. Click them. It's the right choice. I usually start with the most expensive items, right? So I would, especially the really good drop shippers, the guys who have like, like this fucking item sold 38 times. I generally wouldn't try to compete, but let me just let me just do it for you guys to see, right? So, and we'll see why I don't try to compete with cheap items. I usually start with a hundred bucks. All right, so all I did was click the image to try to find the item. I found it. It's twenty nine forty four. Right, it's free shipping with the shipping pass. Let me put in the external URL. Price of the item twenty nine forty four. Come on, I did, I put forty four, baby. Ah, this is yeah. So I'm just gonna list this because hopefully you learn from it, right? But and you can listen to me while while um while I do this. But the whole, ah, oh, okay. So he's selling it for the, eh. As I'm saying, like, I like to beat it by more than a dollar, but I can't, let me see, 37, 90, I like nice numbers. Eh. Make three bucks, with the 3% off, you might make four bucks for almost five hours. It's worth it because it's still a 10% margin. It may or may not sell because it's small price difference. Hopefully it would, but who knows, right? But, um, what I'm saying. So you should never have to go over your your API calls. If you do go over your API calls, 
generally your strategy is wrong because I can't see someone looking through 5,000 items in a day. That, maybe I'm being naive. Maybe you're a robot. I just can't see it. So, guys, some good advice for you guys to not have this API issue, to not to be doing things right. Fuck the API issue to make sure that you're doing all these things right. Is that run a couple sellers, then list. Go through research list. Run a couple more sellers and go through research and list. And that's it. If you guys come up to the situation where you see this is expired, you need to do your API over and input it again. And there are two videos, one showing you how to get the API and two showing you how to input in Diashini that I have on the YouTube channel that would help you. So what I what I plan to do the next couple of days is make a couple of playlists and put it at the bottom of the channel. So it'll help you guys to know which which videos you should you should look at for specific problems. Okay. Hope hopefully I was helpful. Hopefully I answered that question, Joe. Thanks for being a part of the SGE team. You let us know that you stayed on past the trial. Thanks for being just thanks for the questions. I love it. I answer questions. Hopefully it'll help some of you other guys who have some issues. Peace, love, be love, travel will make that money. Subscribe to the channel. Comment and answer questions in the vi in videos. Join the DSG team. We add 100, as I told you guys. We close off at 120 just because I want to maintain 100 people all the time. And people come and go. And that 100 that we reached was with a lot of the trials. So I know maybe half the people pay for the trial wouldn't go through. So we may be back down to 95 or something in a couple of days. But we still have a couple spaces because the complete cutoff for either trials and full subscription is 120. And yeah, peace, love. Later, I'm done. The video's too long. For seven minutes. <laughs>